man, you know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but, but that makes it sound like they have okay, a Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is, I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. Okay, what is the story? She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd she do that? Um, I think she was indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's, a uh, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did. Yeah, no, total super friend status, you know? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? I don't know. I think you probably should have taken the test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just, like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. If you say so. It, it takes you a bit out of the game when someone just gets stuck on something and is like a screen away. Could have worked on the pathfinding a bit. Would definitely help. Alright. Mayday! May oh crap. This isn't. This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Yeah, those cheeks are just how made can for anyone pinching. stand to listen yeah, to me let's all see day. how she is. And, uh, so give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will. doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. Maybe? I'm sure it's just the stress. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We, Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How can you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what- You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Nona, it's sort of really complicated. It's okay. The Blue Streak version is its ghosts. That's all. That's what's going on. Ghosts are going on. Ghosts? Really? Yeah. And it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Oh, do God. You? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. 
Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Oh, boy. Thank God for that memory. Yeah, finally something positive jarred loose through all the hysteria. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was after you knew everything had gone to hell, so... <laughs> to balance out. To balance me out. That's it. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to... Uh, oh, uh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool. A phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. But Ren, look at reality. You dragged us out here. You had Alex bring the little death machine. Stop saying it with me. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> Jonas, it should be obvious to All right, even do the I have anything else here? that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Jonas? Let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you let me sweat it out for like two hours in the woods to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care. I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... <sighs> Just... Fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. My goodness. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Anomalies. So... I should be able to just go back to the campgrounds here. Probably. So I can just catch the anomaly. Oh, yes! served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. 
Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988 it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's <laughs> communications <laughs> officer for eight years. From 1941 to... Let's go and pick up that anomaly from earlier. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. So just sorry for the whole thing. It, I shouldn't have gone in on Ren at all. Look. Uh, and I just want to clear the... Thawi Woods? No, no, no. Oh, yes, yes. Thawi Woods, Bridge Stand, Campgrounds. Alright. Air 2. Just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But the whole I went to jail thing... I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why'd you, um, why'd you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds and I'm not gonna defend myself. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever, I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be, and that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. Alright. Oh wait. Okay. Do this to check. There's anything anywhere down here? I mean I'm gonna go the same way but oh yeah, I'm gonna return the same way, so it doesn't matter. Do that later.
When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at... Bridge stand. That. Something about transmission. built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station, and if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was...
Uh, I'm supposed to go to the city, but for now I'm gonna get the... Before I forget, I'm gonna get the anomaly that was uh, at the camping grounds. It would have been better had... Yeah, at the bench. Is that just because... Okay, that's probably just because of the light. Maybe there's something up here too. It's kind of green. Just the numbers line. Forget about the. Oh! oh. Stand is probably the shortest. Alright. Let's go back. Yeah. That's why I'm doing it now. Like, I don't see a fucking point in not do- not just having the radio out at all times. I mean, you can also just... do this shit. Mmm! Ah, oh, this music. Fucking works with the game so well. Mm. It takes, like, all the tension out of it. Like, wh where's the pressure now? The music is great. I don't fucking care about the game. Mm. <laughs> so good. 
Like, there's, there's like, for every area there seems to be like two radio, two music stations. One station that does like some creepy shit, and then a lot, whole lot of static. Like that's what I found. Like I think here, you have. Um, right, you got this one, and you got one with a lot of fucking static. Uh, Alright, you have this shit. And... The, oh yeah, you have voice transmissions once per area, I think. So if like two times music, one times creepy shit. Uh, yeah, two times music, one time creepy shit, and one time like... Uh, something... Uh, a voice transmission. Wait, maybe there's something. See, so there's an anomaly in here. Thankful that I don't have to voice act this game. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do the voices. Like that. Go to the city now. Oh, we have to go one. Right. Can I climb up here? Come on. There we go. Finally, we'll continue the story. First, we will eat and drink, and then we'll go and see the girl, yes? Yeah? Yes. You see, she doesn't know. First, we will eat. 